Okay, so today, like I said I would, uh, I got my lighting stuff in, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through putting lights into this. Um, so I'm going to um, speed this up a little bit, but I'll do kind of a voiceover on it, um, just so you kind of know what's kind of going on, but not sitting through, you know, this process might take me an hour and a half, and no one wants to sit here and listen to me for an hour and a half. Um, so we're going to go through getting some light stuck in this. Um, I'm going to try a couple different things, um, maybe a little bit differently than what I had said I was going to do on the other video, but, um, I think it'll turn out pretty good. Um, and so let's go ahead and jump into this. All right. So first we start with just pulling the whole thing apart, um, and start to add the little bits of detail around the front. You'll see me go off screen a lot and that's for me to go grab some parts. You'll see that I'm adding some parts down in there to hold the LEDs um, and kind of hold them in place. I actually grabbed a cone uh, to stick them on top of so that they would stick up a little bit. Um, and I usually like to encapsulate the LEDs if possible in something, whether that's just a clear like one by one plate, round plate, or um, you know, inside of like a one by one round brick or just something. You can see I added um, some bricks to add some lamps next to the doorway rather than sticking them underneath the kind of overhang there. I thought it would be better to just put two lights next to the door. I think that was kind of a more of a uh, better look for this. And uh, you can see that I use the tiles around the top to kind of pinch all the things in. Um, I will say that this might not have been the best building to pick to do a demo on just because the back is so ugly, uh, that I would never, ever even think about showing the back there. You can see that I put some colored flashing lights in the front. I thought, I thought that was super fun. Um, but the back's really ugly. So I kind of cheated a little bit and used the back to hide a lot of wires kind of as, um, I went up, uh, just because I knew I would never show the back cause it's just, it's it's just ugly. And this was an alt build using just the parts from, um, I think two copies of Emma's art school. Um, and so, uh, you know, I, I definitely cheated a little bit and pulling some stuff out the back that I might not have done otherwise. Um, I also, I don't think in my original video accounted for those little bump outs or the little like rounded viewing rooms. Um, and so I had to kind of rethink a little bit because I needed to get some light out into them. Because uh, I think if I didn't, it would have looked really empty. Uh, and so I ended up using a little more lights than I thought I was going to. But uh, I think it was overall worth it. But it definitely deviated from the original plan. Um, there you can see me sticking it out front there. And actually, this one was a little bit more difficult. I think the next level up was um, the inside. So it was done a little bit. But I struggled to get this one on because the lights were actually hitting where the bricks needed to connect. Um, and so that's why I pulled it off because I needed to really kind of fiddle with it uh, and be closer. And honestly, the phone was in the way from where I, where I was doing the videoing where I needed to get my head to see what was going on. Uh, so that's why I pulled it off camera like that. But um, yeah, that one was a tricky one because the strip is literally... Um, I think that's one of the smaller ones. So it's literally four studs long. And I think there was just four studs of clearance in there, which was fine, except for the fact that there was nowhere to account for the wires coming out of the connectors. Um, and so that was a little bit rough. Um, but you can see, I, I really like to use the plates to kind of help uh, hold the wires in there. And you'll see I'll sometimes just um, suspend the LEDs for the floor above it by just trapping the wires in and pulling them tight. Um, that's a really good way, especially if you need to be able to separate the floors easily uh, and you have wires kind of going everywhere. That's a really quick way to kind of get the kind of get the LEDs to sit at the bottom of the next floor up, but not actually be attached to that floor. Um, I found that just to be really effective. So if there's ways to do that, that's definitely the way to go. Um, just to help with, uh, you know, if you do need to take it back apart for whatever reason. Um, I also did something a little bit different in that the final main power connection is actually um, is actually not in the bottom level. Uh, usually I try to make the power connection in the bottom level, but uh, this one just didn't work out like that. I didn't want to waste an eight um, input circuit board on the bottom. Uh, and so... 
I decided to put it up somewhere else. And in fact, I believe it's in the second layer that's currently sitting on the building right now. Um, and so that's where I decided to make all my final connections just because that's kind of where it made sense. Um, so sometimes, you know, that final connection point doesn't have to be in the bottom. Uh, it can be wherever it makes the most sense. And for me, it made the most sense to put a six way there in that middle layer and uh, have all the things work their way kind of to it. Um, and so that's what I did. And, you know, for me, I use um, a not to USB. I just I just use another extender cable to go out the bottom of it. And you can see I kind of wrap the cords all up there just to hold them back and uh, plug it in, test it all out. And it looks pretty good. OK, so that actually only took me about 36 minutes. So uh, that's not too bad. A lot of times, if you didn't see me on camera, it's because I was grabbing like bits and pieces. Like I needed to grab kind of like these pieces to add that there. Um, I played around with a couple different options for up here, and I ultimately just laid the LED up there. Sometimes it's just, sometimes it is just that. Um, but anyways, happy with how this turned out. Um, I actually ended up not putting the lights around the sconces at the, at the top. I thought that would be too much. Um, I kind of like the minimalist kind of look that we got going here. Um, I went with cool white cause I thought that was probably more appropriate for an art studio. Um, and especially with all the like kind of colors, I thought maybe keeping that cooler white was a little bit better of an option. Um, and then I'll be honest, I kind of cheated on this backside as you saw. Um, I ran a lot of wires on the backside that I don't normally do. Um, but since I knew that this was not going to be seen, um this was easy and you know sometimes it's about what's actually being seen and not what and not what not be not what is not being seen um and so i definitely went with that method on this because this is ugly uh i would not do this on some other things but since you're not gonna see the back ever uh it doesn't really matter because this is a really ugly back so i would definitely not do anything that would cause you to see this backside um so anyways so this will just run down to the bottom this is my main feed and get plugged into the ones that are next to it and uh it's ready to go um so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this back in my c i got um a bunch more to do um but hopefully this was helpful to kind of combine with that other video of me kind of talking about what i was thinking through um and i think i kept mostly to the same kind of game plan that i talked about um maybe a little bit less and sometimes it just does turn out that way um so thank y'all for watching make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more thanks y'all